Hi all. K family here. Born some more zombie run. Title sequence. So wasn't able to run this weekend. There was a uh, tropical storm heading in. And kept, you know, saying horrible rain, horrible storms. And other places got it. We did not. Like I planned to go on Saturday morning, but every forecast said bad. I was planning to go on Sunday morning. Every forecast said bad. Got up Sunday morning, no rain. So I'm like, all right, let's check to see what the forecast says. Oh, next hour, it's going to rain. And the next hour came, checked again. Next hour, the next hour. They kept saying, you know, the, the bad storm was coming. So I just kind of chalked it up to a loss. Because by 10 o'clock, I had other stuff I have to do. I couldn't just wait for round to run. It sucks. So that's why I got to make sure I made it out today. Even though, I mean, it's still fairly cloudy. But zombie run. Okay. I'm on a run with runner four and runner eight, a scouting mission, and we talked about where the major has gone and who might have knowledge besides just rumors. That's about it. I think runner four is younger. So they explained the scouting mission. There's three of us, so if one gets hurt, one can stay. The other can go for help. They used to do scouting missions to look for a new place to live besides Abel. That's come off the table, or sort of come off the table, since I arrived with the rocket ship. And we are officially out of video camera range, so... Visual's on us now. Woo! Let's see what we can see. Janine stopped by. We heard some gunshots. We're gonna go check it out. Okay, we found a stack of bodies. This had probably 40 zombies, all with a single shot, dead center forehead. A sharpshooter. And around the bodies were weapons, loaded. Which reminds me, I keep getting like nine millimeter ammo, but that's for handguns. Soon when we have like assault rifles, why haven't I got any 5.56? Either way. So, apparently they've seen this before at a stadium early on, and as a result, they ended up burning the stadium down. And they're scared, because some of the sharpshooter will left stuff around, and no one leaves stuff around. So we're scouting real quick, unsure what's around us. New breed of zombie, perhaps? Who knows? Zombies incoming, about 20 of them. At shambling speed whatever that means pretty much we're going to grab as much as we can as many guns as we can carry to head back to able it's not the end of the mission though yet so i'm curious what's going to happen next i'm done with my run and the zombie run isn't over these zombies are catching up to us they're faster than the shamble right. should be continued I gotta go back to work. Welcome back, guys. So before we get into today's run, let's finish up two days ago run. Zombies can run now. Not only can they run, but I found a vial of VS-17 in the run. So that leads me to believe the pile of bodies is more execution style, that they are experimenting with the zombies and dumping the remains and that the now running zombies is a result of the experimentation. Instead of trying to cure them, they're making them worse. Yay! So, that's happening.
on to today's run. A supply mission run thing key. We're exchanging information with the nearby settlement. And I'm with someone very experienced who's apparently gotten 387 confirmed zombie kills. I've been for six months. That's not bad. All right. Explorers, let's go deliver some information. I feel like a kid's TV show saying, let's go exploring. Oh well. It works. I got kids. Don't judge me. Hey there, Mr. Buns. I got a bunny friend. Oh, there's another one. Interesting. Normally I might take one. These are not this close. Definitely not two. Okay. We're entertaining who I'm with. Bit of a math mathematical genius. He's researching zombies, identifying patterns, so he knows that they can sense when people group together like herds. So they herd together and attack. He was from New Can, lost his wife in his front yard, and his daughter was at a camp. He has no idea what happened to her. So he gave out hope that she might be alive. Interesting. They just gave a list of some of the stuff we're carrying on USBs. Uh, all of Wikipedia, maps of Europe, TV shows, DVD shows, and a specific mention of all of Doctor Who until the cast was eaten. Kid shows because of settlement we're going to has a lot of kids. Encryption keys so we can talk to people. The zombies are swarming on us. Like bugs are swarming on me right now. Like. My God, I'm just being attacked nonstop. It's actually a little fascinating being with this research guy. Because I'm actually learning about zombies, the world they created. So they explain that zombies, unlike other carnivores, don't have a natural instinct or decision-making ability. They don't know to go for the weakest, the straggler, the, the outlier in the pack. They just go for the nearest. And if there's two opponents there, same speed, same distance, they don't know where to go. They get confused, they slow down, they stop. So I mean, that's what we're doing. We're splitting up, same speed, different directions. Well, they're going to try to lose the zombies because they don't know what's going on. But it's fascinating to hear that the guys who made this went into that like thought process on how zombies think how they hunt. Because you usually don't see that. It's usually very basic. Oh, sight, smell, that sort of stuff. We funnel the zombies through a narrow alley. And on the far end, just throw them off one by one by one. So, 10 or 12 of the zombies? Or 10 and Sam back and forth. Sam stunned, amazed. I asked the runner to be his sensei. Teach him everything he knew. Our laps said okay. But before we met up to make the information exchange, Runner 10 dropped this little nugget. That he didn't just leave New Canton because they didn't let him do his research. And that they want they thought his research in zombies was done, and they wanted him to research how to take out humans. So bad New Canton. Bad. Alright everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're enjoying the series. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for joining me. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Please enjoy yourself until the next video. And until then, goodbye. Ooh. How close do you think I can get to him? Oh, never mind. He's going away. Come back. Let's see. Oh, not too close. Goodbye.